Well, hello, Shirley Rocks here. We've got a bit of a treat for you today. So this is a game by a developer called Gummy Cats, and it's published by Armor Game Studio. This came out 28th of July, so I'm a little late to the party, but I just fancied playing it because it looks pretty fun and the graphics are ridiculously good. So this is a laid-back management adventure game where you build and run a bed and breakfast, but you play as a, as a bear. <laughs> so... I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know if I'm going to have people as guests. I don't know if it's going to be animals. I don't know. I just know I'm asleep in a bed and I've been chopping onions and I've got a stove cooking something which really should be dealt with. Anyway, we're going to do a new game. I've not played any of this, so this is a blind playthrough. Let us see what it's like to be a bear running a and b So, why can't I ever fall asleep on time? Good question. I'm going to be so tired tomorrow. Mom's going to kill me. Uh, okay. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Is that an owl? Doesn't look like an owl, does it? Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced the air. There was no one there. Everything fell dark and silent again, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep's overrated. So, what is that? Okay. Hello? Is, is this me? I, I, I am bear. I can't move. Do not. Um, don't what? See? That's already happening. <laughs> Move. Okay, so you don't want me to move. Can't do that either. W-A-S-A-D to move around. So you don't really sound as uh, scary now, because now you're telling me how to move in keyboard form. So go. Oh, look at me stepping out. Ooh. Find. Find this. Uh, find this bed. Okay, I have found bed. Now what? Sleep. Oh, wow, this is like a dream within a dream. Sure, I'll just take a nap in this deathbed. I'm going to, though, if you let me interact with it. There we go. E to interact. There we go. Deathbed, here we go. Don't. You're not great at making your mind up. <laughs> Don't wake. Don't wake up. Don't wake. Don't wake the other bears. That's it, no more dumplings before bed. Ooh, so is this going to be like Stardew, Jal Stardew Valley, do you think? For the third time, Hank. Uh-oh, better see what's up. Right, so I'm Hank, apparently, and I've got someone that sounds really angry, so let's go and find the angry person. Who is angry at me? Um, we can't go through there. Let's try this way. Okay. I'm up. I'm up. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little, a little extra sleep. Besides, besides what? I need a hard. I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. That runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? Gee, thanks, Mom. No, I'm... Where's Annie? Oh, in her room with Will. Probably I should go wake him up. All right, honey. Okay, so, the basics. So, while in adventure mode, I can control using Wasada and walk around. Uh, I can zoom in and out using the mouse wheel. I much prefer tutorials like this. Much quicker to go through. Um, interact with items with E, yes. The game uses an autosave feature. Do not exit the game while this animation is displayed. Uh, okay, that must be the save symbol. You can access game settings, achievements, and more through the pause menu. See... If I was developing this game, I'd have called that the pause menu with P-A-W-S. You see? Ah, oh, you see? They've missed the chance of amazing bants. Right, I'm looking for the room of my... Okay, what's that thing? Good... Okay, Will isn't happy. Good morning. Out. That's not very good morning of you. There's nothing good about being up this early. I don't smell any reason to be up yet. What do you mean? I could smell him a mile away. Delightful bow for you. What's on the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes. Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek and check under the bushes for mushrooms. 
What I tell ya, I live for the hunt. How can we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. So what are these? Is that a cat, a cat or a wolf and a pigeon? We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. We won't find any garmies or shroomies in here then. Let's go already. We're on his side now. It's morning, we're up. Let's go do stuff. They warn me betrayal never comes from your enemies. Okay. There's a little tip that popped up there, and I didn't even get to see that now. Okay, Hank, kids, over here. Okay, get your digging claws ready, here it comes. Coming. Right, do you know where I can get that tool tip back? Oh, it's this one, I think. So, you can walk around picking up things, inventory. Your inventory is accessed for the adventure mode menu, which I'm assuming is this thing here. Yes, yeah, so I've not got anything. Uh, what else can we do? You can use filters or the organize button to sort three items automatically. That must be in here and up here. Okay. What else? Or throw away things you don't need by using the delete slot. Uh, where's that? Like a corn on a cob symbol? Top right. Oh, it's interesting. It's a trash symbol. Oh, that's because they're throwing away the corn on the cob thing. I get ya. And the mini map, mini map displays my current location daytime and allows you to navigate so looks like i'm in the thicket and we're going down this way towards the big thing on the the map right so what's what what is that that's more, i'm more interested in what that is hank hey ma morning kids morning mrs m ma'am did you sleep all right as good as ever good enough whatever that means good today's a special day i need you to go on the hunt. All right, point me to the hole. To Black Moss. What? What? Um, where's Black Moss? I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good and I need your help. The bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. I mean, uh, adventure. Adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook. Okay, that's awesome then. Don't lose it again. I won't. He will. He will. <laughs> All right, you three. Remember, we're getting that bundle and uh, get straight back. No one step any further than the swamp. Yes, ma. Right, first of all, what's this? Can't read what it says. It's like a graveyard, isn't it? Okay, collectibles. Collectibles special items you can unlock for your character gives you various perks. You can find your current unlocked collectibles on the character screen. You can now access the quest log from the menu bar. And if... Oh, it shows you your current quest. Okay. Quest will lead you towards finishing the main story. And quest status icons will display over characters. Orange means available. Blue means in progress. Green means ready. Right, let's go and look at this. Then. So here's the quests. So this is what we're doing. We're going to go to the... Go to Black Moss through the thicket. Right, and what was the other stuff? Um, the character stuff. So this is the character stuff. Here's the notebook. Can we, uh, can we open it? Doesn't really let me open it. Half-empty notebook ready to be filled with stuff you shouldn't forget. First page says, to my love. Oh, maybe, maybe we need to uh, fill that in a little bit. Right, what's this? Flightless birds don't know how good they have it. No one bothering them about not flying. I'm literally walking. I'm literally walking here. Right, let's follow the uh, the map. So we're going to go to the bottom right. Okay. Uh, reckon through here. Okay, what's this? To Black Moss. So, th yeah, this is where we're going. We're going this way. The three friends found themselves further than they'd ever gone before. Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie, the Carolin Carolinian dog, brave but clumsy. Will, the poor Will, grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly even more so on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear, cheerful and curious, but maybe a little concerned about the promise he'd made back home. No, Mum, I'm definitely not going to wander too far in adventurous fashion. <laughs> I promise. Okay, that means we're going to, doesn't it? Ooh, and black moss. All right, gang, spread out. Okay. 
So this is like I can hear frog sounds and stuff. Um, how do I get past all these bits? Let's go and talk to you. I hope I sniff out sniff out something good today. Ooh, there's something shiny. Tire screech. Um, a bunch of see you later completed. What in the what? I heard it too. We better go. But we haven't found the thing for your mom yet. I'm a Hank. Let's go see where the sound came from. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said get some gator weed. We've not found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No. Come back. They're not going to come back, are they? Did I pick any of that gator weed up, though? Oh, no. I've got to follow my friends now. Boo. Alright, something in this cave. What's this? That's one big rock. Okay. Uh, what's all this shiny stuff over here, then? Can't. I'm stuck on the... Um, I think it's because that's all, like, swamp. I can't actually walk through it all. I'm trying to find the dry bits to walk on. Okay, can we go through the middle of this rock? Nope. Can we go north? Can we go around the back of this rock? Yeah, this is more like it. Maybe we can come back to this bit with like um, a boat or something. We're going this way. This is where we're going. Where is this? A timber crossing. Oh, it's next to a highway, look. Okay. What is going on? Okay, so there's a toilet. What's this? Requests a day. Okay, I can request stuff here if I've got money. Tool, sheet, plank, another plank, plank thing. Um, can I pick stuff up now? Ooh, wood pile. And what's this? A crafting table. Oh, I was building and crafting in this area. Okay. What's all this say? Collected three valuables. Okay, is this like an abandoned house? Uh, I don't know if I should be taking all of this, but I'm going to have it all. Collected valuables. I bet it's just junk. Oh, I forgot um, a weight limit as well, because I'm just, I'm just picking everything up. Can't see a weight limit. I'm just take it looks like I'm just taking loads of like random junk. Okay, you can just press E twice to pick stuff up, which is super, super helpful. Right, can I go back to this and make something now? Now I've got all this stuff. Yeah, let's make some planks. It's not told me to make planks, but I've just made some. Oh, it's to repair it, I think. Okay, so I've repaired that. I've probably just done something which is well later on in the game. Bus station. Oh, I see. So I need all these things to build this. I get you. Right, so who's this then? What is it? Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat, show it who's boss. What? Is that someone dressed as a shark? This strange shark... Has a, has a shiny bouncy exterior, has a straight, a shiny bouncy exterior, and wore cool sunglasses. A little grey speaker box was trapped to his neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded me of Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, his little car had a big advert for something called Porn Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show who's boss. Hello. Be part of the next, next exciting experience. Enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. Is someone in there? You, there, fine, gentleman in the orange coat. I am pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor shirt and the next major manoeuvre? Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the shirt is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. Is this how we end up with the, um, the B&B? &B? How are you talking? So is it a robot? Okay. Bring in your old useless jewels and we'll give you what? 
a one to three day all-inclusive voucher for a vacation of a lifetime. Sorry buddy, I don't have anything expensive or a heirloom. We're also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For it's millions of customers around the valley. We will take any location or premises, no matter how run down. Okay. Okay, so here, I was wondering if this is like an alternative timeline and humans aren't, aren't around, but I think they must be. Humans are whack. If you or your friend would like to offer your home or house, uh, no. Well, then again, I've got that house, that house below. Simply press the green button under my gullet and a representative will get in touch. Okay, maybe I could do that house up below we found. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what he said. If I heard the shark right, I'm pretty sure he wants to give us money. Human grade, shiny money. All I heard was humans are coming back. Well, the money's got to get here somehow. Humans. I've barely seen one in months. And that's more than enough. Hello, don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and spoil sports cheerful attitude, we stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm going to be honest, I've no idea what you said. Human, back, money, give, good. I'm going to be honest, it's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use the broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. Okay, let's tell them we're in then. Right, let's uh, press the button. Hello again. I've been automatically entered into a, a, an agreement. Welcome to family error unknown pattern. You are now contractually obliged to provide your premium details within three days. Press the green... Okay. So we've got to do, we've got to do the shed up. Right, so I've got to make this shed nice and cosy, apparently. Right, so I've got to look for stuff, I reckon. Right, come on. I want to do. I want to do work. Right, so what's this? I can't open it yet. I reckon we're gonna go find stuff. Um, I don't know where I should go. So let's go. Let's see where this way goes first. We need to find materials and stuff. Right, so, store dust. So, within the inventory mode, you have two additional options. Uh, where are these? The these ones here, I think they mean. Show walls and sleep the night. So, if you're not a fan of the dark after midnight, you can sleep until the following morning. This advances time. And if you'd like to see the inside of most buildings, you can lower the roof and walls. That's pretty cool. If you don't like playing at night, you can do that. Right, there's another bus station. Right, I'm looking for stuff to collect. So I can see some wood there. I'm having that. Uh, I think you can see the materials on the map. So if you look below me, there's something below me. There. More wood. Nice. Right, let's go up here. Try and cross this bridge. That's the biggest crack I've ever seen. Okay. It's dev humour. I'm looking for... Ooh, what's that say? Ooh, more wood. Right, it's something over here. There's more wood down here. I need all of the wood. Now, this doesn't look like wood. What's that? Oh, it is wood. So, plywood and pine wood. mystery thing here. I wonder where a tree this big could fit. Alright, I can hear what sounds like a bear sleeping. Then, unless it's me. I'm, I'm, I'm having all the wood. I don't know if I need all the wood, but that's what we're doing. I'm just going to collect all this. Now, what is this? So... What looks like an old. Ooh, nice. There's like an old house or something to the right. What's this? And who are you? Talk to you. It's Tony! By God, a bear. It's just me, sir. Hank from the thicket. Oh, goodness, you can talk. <laughs> Do you think Tony forgets things? I'm just yanking your tail. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I want to ask you if you can help us. We got a. Help, why don't you say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? Well, actually, my friends and I are wondering. An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. 
Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, this is a shark in Timber Crossing. A redwood plaque for your fish. He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh, well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as you, of course you know, everything people make is perfect. When I took over the mill, I found all these paper and schematics. It felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate contours, knotty frames, perfect angles. Clearly only an incredible being could come up with all of this. Whoa. Can you make all of that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you, would you like me to teach you? Yes. I was hoping you could help us fix this old shack. Oh, how wonderful. We'll need my back saw and mallet, a ladder, and a couple of stacks of pine. Fetch those for me, the bright yellow ones. They're all yellow. Okay, so we're going to bring in things. Right. So, what's this tutorial say? You can insert material in the world to loot the contents. Yep, we've been doing that. Press E again when in the... Yeah, that's what we need to get it correctly. You can also split stacks for multiple items. Okay, by dragging it, by the look of it. And scavenging is one of the main ways for you to obtain materials. Oh, certain materials respawn periodically. Nice. Wood will be found near trees, stone and marble near rocks, junk around the garbage dump. Store any extra materials in a stash near the... Po oh, okay. Right, so I've already collected a load of wood, so I think I can just go and give him it. Let's go and give him this wood. There you go, I have wood. So, did you find all the wood? Yep. Yep, got it right here. Grand, perfect. You're doing such a great job. Thanks, I just picked it off the grand. Amazing. Now I'm headed to Timber Crossing. I'll see you there. I think Timber Crossing's where we've just come from. So, let us go there then. I want to quickly go over here. I want to see if this is where the dump is. See it? This bit. Why not simply punch the trees? Okay, that's not useful as I thought. We can't, we can't run, I've noticed that. Right, so we're going to just keep going this way. This is the way we're going. Let's see if we can build something useful. Okay, so there's the place up there where I can drop stuff. Now can I press I and bring the inventory up? Yes, I can. It looks like we're limited by a number of slots maybe, so we seem to be able to carry quite a bit. Oh, you're making me walk all the way around. Let's go and talk to him. Yes, all of that is wonderful. And we're going to use this old shed. Haven't seen a human claim it for years. This will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started. First you have to clean up the shed of all garbage. I think I can do that. I think we've done that already. Yeah. Did you clean up the shed? Yes, I did. Great. Now we'll have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in the thin air. You need some place to make it work. Grab some wood and put it back together. Yep, we've done that already. <laughs> Did you get that workbench fixed? Yes. Right, it's like brand new. Good. Okay, now what? Now what do we do? I want to make a bed. I want to make a cupboard. I want to make a bed and breakfast. All right, is he gonna, what's he actually done? Excuse me. You have plenty of time to get better. Now humans got, got over the cold stones and, hey? Now humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Here, this is one of those things, but it'll do. Okay. I've now unlocked a new recipe, a shabby pallet bed recipe. Go make one. Okay, let's try doing the walls as well. Wanna show the walls for a second. Here we go. I'm going to try and make me a bed. All right, how do, I, how do I make a bed? Crafting items. Once repaired, I can craft items. Uh, to craft items, use the workbench, cliff, and click on crafting bottom right. Crafty items. Beds are comfort and belong in bedrooms, toilets, belong in bathrooms. Once you're done, exit build mode. Learn new bl blueprints from quests or by buying them. Oh, what's the other way? Or interacting with them. Buy more blueprints at the Pawn Voyage shop as they become available. Right, so I should be able to click on here and make me a bed. You just need to make one of these, I think. So we'll click that. I now has bed, and then we'll click here and come out of it. Go and talk to the dude. Tony, what's going on? Were you able to make the bed? 
Yes. I didn't think it could look worse than the schematics, but here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent, you're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. Well, hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. So now we need to build a room. So use the workbench to build and edit rooms within the cabin of your resort. Uh, okay, so we click on the workbench and then click on the build icon top left. Pick a room type from the lift, from the list, sorry. Some resorts only support the limbs number. Draw your footprints of the room until you reach the minimum required size. You can add or remove tiles using the plus and minus buttons. Every room requires a door to function, but a room can have multiple doors. Add more with the add doors button. Uh, rooms will also require mandatory objects in order to function. So it reminds me a bit of uh, RimWorld this when you have to build a room and put objects in it. Uh, while in build mode, grab furniture from your inventory and place it. You can rotate any piece of furniture with R, confirm the building with the tick icon, and then what? And then select the room panel button. Button. Okay, so we go over here, we click on this, and click on this. So we need a comfort room, which is going to be a bedroom. Right, minimum size is two by three. So let's do two by three. Um, it's going to have a bed and a door. Now, how do we put? Oh, here's, here's the door we're trying to place, I see. So we'll just put the door in like that. And then we need to add a bed to it. So we're just going to stick the bed right up against the wall like that. And then we'll click OK. And that should be it. And we exit. Then we go talk to Tony, who says that's the worst bedroom I've ever seen. Were you able to make the bedroom? Yes, stains and all. Brilliant. I almost prefer it to the dead trees I used to sleep in. You're, you encourage weird. All right, now, this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed a false sense of superiority superiority by having someone around that can look after them. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're going to need to make them feel welcome by putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where to go and a little black book to keep records for the shark. Oh, yes, here's how you make it. Quite forward, really. So we're going to make a um, front desk recipe. After you made it, put it down in the shed and it's time to rake in the dough. Well, that's going to be for another video because this has been 27 minutes. That's all you're going to see for now. If you do want to see some more of this and you want to see me put down this thing and see if we get some strange humans coming to visit, then let me know in the comments below. Anyway, this has been my first look at Burr and Breakfast. Bed and Breakfast with a Burr. See you next time.